This is the south of Ethiopia, a village of the Doors people. And this is Warka Water Tower. And this is not a ritual structure, although it could become one by its significance. Because this tower, which gives the village endless clean water, and most importantly, is absolutely free. And this is a matter of difficult convenience. In villages like this, of which there are millions in Africa, girls and women go for water and it takes an incredible six hours a day on average. Therefore, Warka Water Tower is a real salvation. How does this tower work? And how does it change people's lives for the better? You will learn about all this in order in this issue. According to UNICEF, about a billion people in the world do not have normal access to drinking water. Every day thousands of young children suffer from diseases associated with poor hygiene and lack of water, up to irreversible health consequences and even deaths. One of those trying to solve this problem is the Italian-American Borca Water Project, which is building towers in Africa that collect water from rain, fog, and dew. The Italian architect Arthur Victoria, together with his team, came up with a design that rather resembles a product from a catalog of expensive interior items, but Borca Water is an engineering solution. A lightweight mesh is attached to the bamboo frame, nylon polypropylene fibers quickly cool down with the onset of dusk. While the air remains warm, this creates the effect of a dew point, and the mesh becomes a framework for the condensation of water from the air. Further, the pure liquid under the influence of gravity flows into the reservoir at the base of the structure so that the water does not evaporate. The lower part of the structure is protected by an opaque canopy. One tower can produce 80 to 100 liters of water daily. Yes, this water would be enough only for half a day for a European resident and only for a quarter of a day for a US resident. But, it's still a lot for people who have no water at all. More importantly, the tower is completely non-volatile. She doesn't need electricity even for maintenance. Maintenance of the structure can be carried out by local residents with hand tools. The cost of construction is from $500 to $1,000. A team of 6 to 10 people can assemble the structure within one day. There is only one significant disadvantage of the tower, it does not give any profit. Therefore, the Warka Water Project lives solely on donations. The cost of the tower varies, because each design corresponds to a general principle. It can be adapted to the conditions of each village. Also, engineers are constantly experimenting with shapes, trying to extend the period of formation of the dew point. But the shape of each tower changes not only for the sake of efficiency. The Warka tree is sacred in the culture of East African tribes. Under its spreading crown, community members gather to socialize or pray. And the authors of the project pay tribute to tradition not only in the name of each. Warka Water Tower is designed according to the principles of biomimicry to be the center of the village both in terms of design and in terms of efficiency. And in this sense, the name Warka fits perfectly. This natural or man-made tree brings water and coolness to the locals. And in his shadow, you can gather to solve the problems of the tribe and think about a better future. The creators of Warka Water do not stop there. And we decided to develop our idea into a whole settlement. This is how the Warka Village project appeared, which is being built in Cameroon for the Bogio Pygmy tribe. It is an integrated village being built using local natural materials and ancient construction technologies. The process uses only earth, water, stone, wood, and natural fibers made by traditional methods from bamboo and other natural materials. 
Warka Chaos offer a higher level of hygiene and comfort. Two Warka water towers will provide pygmies with an alternative source of water. Previously, you had to go for water for half an hour, risking falling into the river with crocodiles, and you had to store not the cleanest water in open flasks. Sanitation and hygiene issues remain an important issue in such villages. Compost toilets will help solve it. Worka sanitation, which work without flushing water and electricity. Compost can also be used as fertilizer. For the Worka garden in this modification of the Worka tower, water is used in the plant irrigation system, providing the village with food. If the Warka Water Towers and the Warka Village Project spread throughout the African continent, they will become part of revolutionary improvements in the lives of at least a billion people. Women will have time for other things in their families' lives, and children will be able to grow up healthier and go to school. That's a lot, wouldn't you agree? If you are interested, how are such projects developing that improve life on Earth? Subscribe to the channel and you will not miss any interesting innovations. We are helping projects like Orca with our videos, and you with your views. So you make our planet a better place.